Okay, we are going to do an oil change on this 2004 Bentley GT. Show you where I have. So we have our 15 quarts of 0W40 full synthetic. We've got our mile filter. Not an expensive part at all. I was very pleased with that. Less than 20 bucks. We've got our socket for the end of the filter cartridge that we'll see when we get up underneath. And I've got my uh, star bits to take off the underneath of this Bentley. All right, be back with you shortly. should be aware that there's star screw here and I have one missing here but there's two on the other side that you also have to take out so let that be a lesson there's actually three of those bolts on this part back in here one is right past this little dip um, but you can see it from the inside okay so uh, we're gonna loosen this bolt up for the oil change or for the oil plug using a three quarter inch socket. I probably need a metric socket, but I did get it loose. And so we're going to go ahead and drain the sucker. Okay, now we're going to put the bolt back in. Now there's two bolts back here, but you really want the one towards the rear. So we're going to try this filter. Slide our oil catch over here. I've got my 36 millimeter socket. Hopefully I won't need an extension. I know if you do the extension, it could hit your horn here. So I thought probably I wouldn't need it. Nice and, huh, it was nice and smooth. So we can get a good grip on it. All right, so we have, we have the filter in here. And so here's how this works. This was down in here and just comes straight out. I think John Engel, he had to pry his out. So I'm hoping I had some people that took good care of this in the past, which uh, based on the oil change and stuff, I think I do. So our next step would be to uh, obviously wipe out, clean out this area in here, clean this out a little bit, and I'll clean the nuts up there, and then I'll put everything back together. Alrighty then, so we have the um, old filter out. We're going to use, uh, I've got a MOL o OX557D. See there? Now this comes with a new O-ring. So I'll actually take this O-ring off and Okay, so we have uh, an O-ring right here. So we're gonna take that off. O-ring on. Okay, we got that in there. We have our new filter. And again, you got the wide end and the skinny end. So the wide end goes over that spring. And we're going to put this back on. I 
Alright, so here we go. I'll tell you, there are, uh, it looks like there's, you could use a filter wrench on this. This does have uh, the flat spots on the end, just like a regular cartridge filter does. Okay, so that's tight. And I've always been trained a quarter of a turn. Once it's tightened, I think we're good there. I'm gonna fill it up with oil. All right, time to put uh, 13 quarts in here. So I read the comments from Mr. John Engels oil change when he did it and some of the comments were why didn't you put the car in ramps which uh, actually you don't have to put it in jack mode I would assume so I didn't do that I got the jacks and then why didn't you use a funnel to put your oil which he thought was a great idea just wasn't something that uh, he had thought about so I decided that's what I would do so we're gonna put uh, 13 quarts in here and then check for leaks after uh, I saw over uh, 12 and a half quarts of oil in there. I'm going to put the cap back on. There we go. Very simple way to put that. Okay, so I lucked out and the air filters also just came from uh, the post office today. So in order to change those out, we really just take out these star bolts. Got to do it on both sides, and I'll be right back. So some things to keep in mind when you're doing your air, air filters. First of all, um, don't over tighten them when you're putting them back in. You've got two different ones. So you can see the part numbers here. The B is actually for the passenger side, and the C is for the driver side for a uh, U.S. Um, Bentley GT. So I'm uh, done with that oil change that I did earlier today and I actually took the opportunity to look up what this would have cost me. <clears throat> I had taken it to the dealer and what it ended up costing me. So with the uh, ramps, which ran me about $60, the oil ran me about $86, but I actually uh, should be getting a $10 rebate on uh, each five quarts. So I have $30 coming back on that. The air filters I got off eBay, and they were the most expensive thing at $131. Um, the oil filter I think I mentioned is around $20. Uh, the filter, uh, the, sorry, the filter 36 millimeter wrench piece was, I think it was eight or nine dollars, might have been ten dollars on Amazon. And all told, when I looked at it, uh, I had everything up just to do the first oil change on this myself was $315 and uh, I don't think I'll have to do the air filters every time so if I'm just doing the oil at $86 full price the filter for $20 we're looking at $100 uh, to do an oil change that uh, is my understanding five to six hundred at the dealer so much thanks to John Engel for posting his video on his Bentley I will tell you uh, I think he has a 2003 I got underneath my 2004 and I might have uh, taken some of the things that uh, he suggested as far as screws and bolts because it was uh, a fairly easy process and I recommend it to anybody who is uh, enjoying this on their own. This, this car is a great thing.